you have to be vulnerable first. And I've talked a lot about vulnerability and its role in building trust and trust builds teams and strong teams drive results and outcomes. So if you're vulnerable, then the team sees that as an opportunity to connect. They see it as you are one of them because the old model used to be the opposite, right? It would be like the leaders here, followers are there and the leader would remind you very clear of what that chain of command was. That is, uh, that's, that's outdated. That's old school. So when we're vulnerable, what it means is, is, is we're sharing a bit of ourselves. We are being honest with the folks that we support. So an example of vulnerability would be, well, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not sitting there crying your eyes out in front of the team. The kind of delineation for what's oversharing and what's not, and, and is it an appropriate use of vulnerability is, are you using vulnerability just for the sake of getting attention? Or are you using vulnerability in an attempt to move the team forward? So an example would be moving the team forward. Hey folks, um, boy, this is, uh, this is complicated. We have a lot of moving parts here. We've got a lot of variables. I, I just don't know. So I don't have an end game in, in mind necessarily here. You know, I don't have all the answers today, but I am committed to working through that. So it's okay to say that you don't know. Now that is vulnerability in the, in the context of, of advancing, right? You're building trust there and you're not oversharing An overshare would be something, you know, some sort of childhood trauma that you've had or something like that. That's, that's one of the, the areas that you can delineate is using vulnerability for the sake of the team and the project and the operation, or is it something that you're just oversharing and you want kind of sympathy in some cases?